Bunk beds, All office, right. wardrobe. Bunk bed, office, wardrobe. The multi-purpose space in a motorhome. Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a motorhome that hasn't been on the program in a very long time. Updated for 2024, and I think it looks fantastic. This is the 2024 Coachman Murata 35ES with bunk beds, the office, and the wardrobe. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Murata and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video today i am super excited to be showing you the coachman murata this is going to be very similar to the coachman encore okay but this one um, we're gonna tell you the few differences this one's a little bit cheaper than the encore and i'll tell you why in just a moment before i begin gotta say hi to andrea hey andrea hi everybody how's it going it's going great i'm excited i haven't seen a murata in a while yes i just love the coachman's yes and the hershey rv show is coming up very 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 soon very soon bing there's the dates that's where we're also going to be put the map there jen at the matt's rv reviews tent passing out matt's cash now andrea You'd have to go online and reach out to our internet team if you want the Murata, because we don't represent it at the Hershey Show, but we do represent Encore. So Encore, if you decide the Encore over the Murata, come to the Matt's RV Reviews tent. We'll give you Matt's cash to give to your salesperson. And if you do choose the Murata, you just deal with everything online. You ready to go, Andrea? I'm ready to go. Let's begin. Model is the Coachman Murata 35ES. The actual tip-tip length of this motorhome is 36 feet, 10 inches. This is the Coachman Murata. This is the medium motorhome. Perfect combination of quality and price. Love the redesign for 2023 part two, i.e. 2024, which this one is. Very mean, nice looking headlights, okay? Here's the difference. The Encore is going to have more of what I call a Denali looking grill and different headlight designs. The Murata has this headlight looking design in this front area. Nice big front windshield over here and everything. So the chassis is the same. They are not the same. Thank you for asking, Andrea. Look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Conti hybrids. Wow. 245-70R 19.5s. So they're two different chassis. This is the lighter weight chassis with the smaller 22.5 inch tires. The Encore is the heavier chassis with the bigger 22.5 inch tires it doesn't make it it makes a difference but it doesn't make a difference you know what i'm saying there's nobody in the history in the world that said oh i feel like i'm driving on 19.5s or i i feel like i'm driving on 22 it's such subtle differences um the big difference is going to be the cargo carrying capacity is going to be a little bit better on the encore also the encore is going to have partial body paint standard with the full body paint option um with that said again you go with encore you go with murata it's pretty much like with thor going with like a wind sport or a hurricane you know what i'm saying it's the same but different they all have the 7.3 liter v8 andrea it is the godzilla engine side cameras as well and you have mirrors right there andrea we do have frameless windows on this motorhome a very nice power awning with led lights and what every coachman has is Asdell. Asdell is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. And then right here, we do have a very nice Insignia TV on the outside. Right here, they all have the fiberglass doors. Good storage. Yes, ma'am. Very nice storage. Right there. Pass through here as well. Yeah. It was raining a little bit, huh? Right there, we have power on the outside. Only a little bit, Matt. Yeah, it was, it was, we brought that Florida rain with us, didn't we? It was a thunderstorm. I don't know what you're saying. It, yes, it was pretty scary. Here we've got the propane tank and yep. a propane quick connect. And then Miss Jen, bing. Please put all the specifications about this motorhome right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. <laughs> and then right here we have a little bit more storage and a water heater right there. They should have made it gray. Mm -hmm, definitely, it just stands out. Coming around the back, Andrea, 
we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Nice rear looking coach. I believe the Encore looks the exact same looking at these rear tail light designs. Right there, that's where you fill up your unleaded fuel. Backup camera there. There is a one piece. Uh, isn't it Crossflex or TPO? No, I think Murata, isn't it fiberglass? I think that's on the Encore. I believe it's a one piece fiberglass roof. I'll find out and confirm it, Jen. Please confirm it right here, bing. And then right here, Andrea, is an 8,000 pound hitch. I'm not saying you can tow 8,000 pounds. You're good with at least 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you gotta know before you tow. And Andrea, confirmed, it is a fiberglass roof. Okay, that's good. You know how I can tell? How's that? I'm just me. That's right. Actually, I could see it. <laughs> <laughs> right there, Andrea. Wow. Black tank flush. Here's a place to dump your tanks. Very nice. All enclosed. I'm loving it. Right here, 50 amp power cord. Not on a reel, not a dislike. Again, more entry level, value priced motorhome. Right over here. Ooh, very nice. The uh, NPS uh, generator right there. 5,500. Yep, that's a very nice generator. We had that when we had a motorhome. Frameless windows again, looks nice. Oh, Here's the better wet, wet bay. bay. City water connection, fresh tank flush. Dump stations, potable water fill. Oh, potable. Yes, ma'am. More storage here. The other side. And, and more storage here. This is the other side. Wow, it's some good storage in there. Yes, ma'am. And, and then right here, you can see your auto leveling right there. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Murata looks great, and there is some differences from the Encore, but the insides are identical and beautiful. Let's take a look. Take a look at the inside. Okay. Oh, let's do a little turn here. Don't forget the cargo carrying capacity, Matt. It's on the door. It's 3,710 pounds. That's pretty good. You see what I'm saying? Like it doesn't make that much of a difference to the Encore. Wow. This is a very spacious walkway. It's yes, a full wall it slide. It looks like it's plenty of space right here. You can definitely open the fridge. Um, it does get a little tight right here. There's the bow, the bunk's office wardrobe, and this is a half bath right here. And then back there is the master bedroom with a folding bed and another bathroom. Andrea, this is definitely one of my, this is definitely my favorite floor plan design in a motorhome like this. Um, and so before we show everybody, we got to get the slide outs out. A big shout out to our sponsors. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parts, even the cores of engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Andrea. If we would have started in here, you couldn't tell if it was a Murata or an Encore. I think I can tell because there is, kind of like Holiday Rambler and Fleetwood, is some little interior differences, but both are phenomenal units. Andrea, let's get started up front here. Murata, 7.3 liter V8. Right here we have our auto leveling controls, dash fans, visors. This is a tire pressure monitoring system. That's cool that it comes with it. You got the lights. Nice steering wheel right here. Very, very nice. Right here's our camera, our uh, radio. Oh, we do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything. Nice cup holders here. And Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? Uh, I feel comfortable. I like it. Um, I have a workstation, which is really nice. Yeah. Very sturdy. Both these seats do swivel, which is nice. And I think we have storage above. Very nice. We've got the frosted cabinetry here. Okay. 
And then we've got one over there. Nice. And then one on your side as well. Yes. Some little cubbies. Thank you, Matt. And we do have the manual bunk over the cab. Holds 500 pounds. Yeah. Hopefully I can show everybody just like that. And then here. Well, that's a good thing about it. You don't need a key. <laughs> right. And we can keep the AC going. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. We're camping now. Yes, we even got a cargo net right here. Safety netting and yes. it's got the rails, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. Yes. Push. There you go. And as you guys know, these things can break when they're electric. So, you know, that is something less that can go wrong. Right here, we do have a little bit of storage above the door. Okay, battery disconnect, switch, inverters, and everything's right there. And then over here, Andrea, is the dinette. So first, we have amazing storage, storage. underneath the dinette, okay? It is soft close, just like that. And then this dinette is comfortable. You know, it drops down to make a bed. Here's some of the features. Again, just to double confirm to make sure I know what I'm talking about, it is a fiberglass roof. You have a very nice window here. Look at these broken uh, design right there, very nice. And then you got some Art Deco of a pier right there. And then over here, we do have your MCD privacy blinds. And then Miss Andrea, America wants to know... Approved! Bing! Oh, Andrea loves these valances, very nice. Something else that I love about the Coachman Maradas and the Co Coachman Class A's is these awesome LED lights right here. You know what I'm saying? Andrea, show us this kitchen. It does brighten it up a lot. It here. sure does. Uh, we have a cabinet above with a shelf. Okay. Nice window in here. Um, I like this balance too. Okay. I love this countertop. I say it every time. It is beautiful. It's a pretty solid surface countertop. It reminds me of marble. We got a farmhouse sink. Yes. With the extension here. Yes. And over here, I believe we have some drawers. They should be soft clothes, if I remember right. Done. Yep. Two and three. And if you don't have enough counter space, you have this here on the end, which is yes. only a little bit. And then over here, we have storage. <laughs> oh, you didn't show underneath there. Did I not? No, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. There wow. you go. Very nice. And I'm gonna show this one too, since I'm right here. There you go. Now above the convection microwave, we have more storage. Okay. Insignia, convect, no, that's just a microwave. Sorry guys. Sheesh. A three burner, what is this? Okay, this is interesting. This is one I have not seen yet. This is a GE propane cooktop. Nice. Some backsplash here. Okay. And an oven. Very nice. We've got a drawer underneath the oven. Okay. And we've got a residential GE refrigerator. Very nice. Now, there is a drawer under here. Okay, interesting. See, yeah. Nice. No, I don't see a pantry. I don't see a pantry either, womp womp. Andrea, over here, we do have a little bit more storage above the sofa. Okay, another nice window there. This, oh, yes. It's a very nice sofa. You do have cup holders here. And believe it or not, Andrea, in case you don't have enough sleeping area. This is a trifold. Yes, it is. I so, think these are one of the easiest ones to do. No, it's definitely not the easiest one. I think it's easier than the full pullout. And that's all you do, and then you put the cushions in the middle. Yes, yes. That's it. Very nice, good size, you know what I'm saying? See, what I don't like is closing it up because it always like flips up backwards like that. And then I gotta... There you go, you got it. First world problems, I guess. <laughs> Oops, oh. sorry. <laughs> sorry. And then, again, directly across from the sofa is a prime viewing angle of the TV. We do have a fireplace, Greystone, that does produce heat from electricity. Very nice insignia TV. And a little bit of storage here where there's slide out controls. We're gonna take a look at the bow in just a second, but first, let's take a look at this half bath. Oh, is it on a pedestal? It is on a pedestal. Oh. It is porcelain, I got tons of space, but Andrea, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp womp. It's cause I'm a little elevated, but here's what I will say. I'd rather be a little elevated than a little tight. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
I still, get still don't pass. We got storage underneath there. Very nice sink. Liquefied, our brand of black tank toilet treatment. Guys, get it at General RV right now or go to primepoopmusician.com and pick it up from Amazon or eBay. But make sure you go through our website to make sure you're buying the right authorized stuff. And you know we will have some at the Hershey Show, Andrea. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet right there. Phenomenal. Andrea, you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. You ready for this? I'm ready. MSRP on this motorhome here is $228,786. Andrea, MSRP, and that is for a 2024. We have it 27% off right now to a sale price of only $165. $9.95. Andrea, that is a phenomenal price. And as great of a price as it is, Andrea, I know we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. All you guys got to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We will link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us, Andrea. A member of our team will reach back out to you guys and make sure you guys get the absolute best price in America. And guess what? We are actually gonna have additional people on my team working during the show. So if for some ever, for whatever reason, if you guys wanna contact my team during that week, we got you covered. And we can't wait to see everybody at the Hershey RV show representing the Encore version of this and a lot of other great brands. But again, always remember guys, we sell every brand just not at Hershey. If you know, if you, Andrea. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Matt. Yeah, I'm picking it up. <laughs> you ready for this? Yes. Look. I love the doors. They got How these, it's locked over here. Yeah. Okay. They got these sliding doors. Look at these barn style doors have become really popular. Okay. Andrea, oh, I gotta show something to you. Okay. You ready for this? Bunk beds. Uh oh. Oh, there's the chair. All Office. Right. Okay, slow down. Wardrobe. Bunk bed, office, wardrobe. The multi purpose space in a motorhome. This is absolutely fantastic. I love it. So many people want bunks. So many people want wardrobes. So many people want dedicated offices. Andrea, the fact that you can get all of that in there. You get all three of them. You get all three. And there's the mattresses for your bunks. And it looks like there's coax back there, back there, electrical outlets. And yeah, you got a little window there. So if you're working and you want to look out there and have some light, it's pretty cool. You know what, Andrea? I'm going to say something rude. What's that? It almost me off. And everybody knows what word I was thinking. That every bunkhouse in America doesn't do this. I know. It's, look at this. This is, this just makes so much sense. This is the best bunk in, in the RV industry. Period. Enough said. Let's continue the video. Andrea, I love that. Over Look here, we this. do have a very nice king size bed. Good entrance. Nice entrance, as Andrea says. Powering USB there. We do have storage above there. There is a CPAP station there. As you can see, the holes under there. Nice headboard. Windows on both sides. This bed does flip up down here for the slide out to come in. And then we do have a little bit of storage right here and here. Over here, we do have the Insignia TV. Storage right here storage right here and Andrea this unit gives you prep for a stackable nice. washer and dryer unreal with a little bit more storage right there and then we have a pocket door here going into the bathroom oh wow yeah that's a very big step up no it's not about the step Andrea the shower is really big look at this shower yeah this is like a 40 by 48 wait wait you mean two people can get in this shower? Where's Will? Because Will! He, where, where is Will? Where is Will? Because he can fit in here too. I know. 
Man, this is a big shower. Will, what the heck are you doing here? <laughs> Step on out, Andre. Okay. Will, tell us what we got going on here. Okay, I don't even know how big this is, but it's huge, nice and wide, great depth. They even put the skylight right in the middle, even though you probably didn't need it, it just helps. This definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal yes. approval. And for those of you who don't know, Will is six foot three. Right. Thanks, Will. Yeah. All right. All right. Hopefully, Will makes it in time here for our lunch for that to have worked. Um, but this is super nice. A uh, huge shower, y'all. Everybody can fit in here. You do have a nice sink here, Andrea. We've got some storage underneath. Yes. And three drawers. I just hurt my finger. I love the soft clothes. Over here, there's also storage. Okay. Oh, good place for linens. Yes. And then above the toilet, we have more storage. Very nice. Okay. Did we show the liquefied? We did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, Andrea, where'd you hide it in here? <laughs> okay, and then right over here, Andrea, porcelain toilet. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Phenomenal bath from Andrea. Very, very nice. And um, it's just fantastic. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this motorhome, three things we dislike. Andrea, we're going to start with dislikes, and I'm going to have you do all three dislikes. Wow. Not to be rude, I'm just so passionate about the Encore Murata. <laughs> okay. I just want to give all the likes. Oh my goodness. So give me give me dislikes. Wow. Sorry, sorry. I have a lot on my shoulders, man. I can give you dislike number one, this fold up bed. Okay. I will talk about this in my likes as well because there's a reason why the bed folds up and it's a part of my likes. That's number one. Okay, I'm not, a f I know they do offer, I think, another interior, don't they? Possibly. I'm just not a fan of the dark wood in here. Oh, okay. I feel like it's dark to me. Um, Even with that third strip of LED lights. Yeah, I still feel like it is. Okay. So I'm sorry. That's going to be my dislike. That's just your personal opinion, Andrea. And also my third. It's really tough. Overall, it is it is done pretty well. Um, no, it's done very well, but okay. Um, let's see. <gasps> no pantry. Ah. Uh, okay, that is a big deal. That's a yeah. big deal to everybody. And Andrea, I 100% concur and agree about the no pantry. No pantry. Andre, that's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Number one, Andrea, I'm going to make it super easy. Big shower. That is a oh, huge shower. Yes. You never get showers that big. I freaking love that. That's number one. Number two, Andrea, the, it sucks that the bed folds in half, but the reason why is because uh, you get a stackable washer and dryer in here. Number three, Andrea, I love this living room area. I love the dinette. I love how the sofa is directly across from the entertainment center. And then number four, Andrea, I can do four because it's America and that's what we can do. I love the bunk bed, office, wardrobe. I love this feature. I love this feature, Andrea. You love this feature. Yes, ma'am. Who doesn't? Well, guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in buying any brand of motorhome, as long as General RV sells it, please reach out to my team because we will be extremely aggressive on the pricing especially in the month of September, if you know what I'm saying. You know, some deals are sweet, our deals are sweeter. You see what I did there? I did. Okay, guys, we can't wait to meet everybody at the Hershey RV show. Bing! Here's where we're gonna be at the Matt's RV Reviews display. Come and see us. If it's a brand that we represent, like the Coachman Encore, Come get your Matt's cash, give it to your salesperson, and get the best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Coachman does read the comments, they do watch the videos, so please leave your feedback. And don't forget to come see us at the Hershey Show. Yes. We're excited to see everybody. I And Jen will put down where we are. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, We'll see you next time!